Two climbers have died while climbing up Cape Town's Table Mountain. The incident, which occurred on the first day of the year, derailed the use of the cable car as it was used for rescue missions for those climbers. Scores of tourists were left stranded for hours at the top of the mountain. By last night, one female climber was found alive, while her two companions were not so fortunate. They died during the fall along the Arrow final route. Joining us now on the phone line is Wilderness Search and Rescue WSAR spokesperson Johan Mareis. Uh, Johan, a very good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Prime. Just talk to us regarding what happened exactly to these climbers. Well, we, we don't exactly know what happened to them. All that I, we can tell you is that they were, were abseiling against Stable Mountain and something must have happened which caused the three of them to all fall. Mm -hmm. And although they were all tied to individual safety rope, the, the extent of the fall um, caused injuries to two of them, uh, which was fatal, 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 whereas the third person uh, survived the fall. And she is the person who was taken off the mountain last night and which, which caused the um, cable car to be occupied for the rescue mission and for people to be stuck on the mountain for quite some time. Can you give us some details regarding how high exactly this abseil was and at which point they actually fell? Just to give us an idea of how far they fell. Um, the report is that they fell around about 150 meters. Mm -hmm. or maybe a little less, but they were 150 meters from the top of the mountain at the time when they were dangling on, on the ropes and when they were first observed and from where they were also extracted. And these kinds of accidents, are they common in, in the Table Mountain area? I won't say that they are common, but there has been accidents similar to this one uh, in the past, um, <coughs> both fatal and also not fatal. And for people who might still be planning to actually climb up Table Mountain and abseil during this festive period, what sort of advice could you give them in terms of staying as safe as possible? Well, if you do the abseiling, then, then obviously there are safety measures that you have to take and have to, have to adhere to. But if you are just going hiking up the mountain uh, on the, along the footpaths, for instance, plot a clip or so, mm -hmm. then uh, the important thing is to stay on the footpath, not to do it alone, go well prepared, take water with you, see to it that you have more than one cell phone with a fully charged battery with you, and, and, and inform people as to where you intend going and when you want to return, so that they, they can immediately raise the alarm if you're, if you're out there of your schedule. And just lastly, Mr. Murray, do we have any details regarding the female climber who survived? Is she in a critical condition? Is she stable? Will she recover fully? Any broken bones? I, I can only say to you that she is in a stable condition, but she was taken to hospital last night after she was brought down the mountain. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Prime. That was a spokesperson for WSAR. That is the Wilderness Search and Rescue a spokesperson, Mr. Johan.